God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Sing praise to the Lord. Remember the wonders he has wrought. Give thanks to the Lord. Tell his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. O oh, sing to him, sing his praise, tell all his wonderful works. Be proud of his holy name. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Consider the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, the judgments he spoke. O oh, children of Abraham, his servant, O sons of the Jacob he chose, he, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, his promise for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it for Jacob as a law, for Israel as a covenant forever. He said, I am giving you a land, Canaan, your appointed heritage. When they were few in number, a handful of strangers in the land, when they wandered from country to country and from one kingdom and nation to another, he allowed no one to oppress them. He admonished kings on their account. Do not touch those I have anointed. Do no harm to any of my prophets. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sing praise to the Lord. Remember, Remember the, the wonders, wonders he has wrought. The Lord did not abandon the good man who was sold into slavery, but freed him from the power of sinners. But he called down a famine on the land. He broke the staff that supported them. He had sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. His feet were put in chains. His neck was bound with iron, until what he said came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Then the king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free making him master of his house, the ruler of all he possessed. To instruct his princes as he pleased, and to teach his elders wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord did not abandon the good man who was sold into slavery, but, but freed him, him from, from the, the power of sinners. sinners. The Lord was true to his sacred promise. He led his people to freedom and joy. So Israel came into Egypt. Jacob lived in the country of Ham. He gave his people increase. He made them stronger than their foes, whose hearts he turned to hate his people, to deal deceitfully with his servants. Then he sent Moses his servant, and Aaron, the man he had chosen. Through them he showed his marvels and his wonders in the country of Ham. He sent darkness, and dark was made, but Egypt resisted his words. He turned the waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land was alive with frogs, even in the halls of their kings. He spoke, the dog fly came, and gnats covered the land. He sent hailstones in place of the rain and struck flashing fire in their land. He struck their vines and fig trees. He shattered the trees through their land. He spoke, the locusts came, young locusts, too many to be counted. They ate up every blade in the land. They ate up all the fruit of their fields. He struck all the firstborn in their land, the finest flower of their sons. He led out Israel with silver and gold. 
In his tribes were none who fell behind. Egypt rejoiced when they left, for dread had fallen upon them. He spread a cloud as a screen, and fire to give light in the darkness. When they asked for food, he sent quails. He filled them with bread from heaven. He pierced the rock to give them water. It gushed forth in the desert like a river. For he remembered his holy word, which he gave to Abraham his servant. So he brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with shouts of rejoicing, and he gave them the land of the nations. They took the fruit of other men's toil, that thus they might keep his precepts, that thus they might observe his laws. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord was true to his sacred promise. He He led led his his people people to to freedom freedom and and joy. The Lord proclaims his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. From the book of the prophet Isaiah, thus says my Lord to me, Go, station a watchman, let him tell what he sees. If he sees a chariot, a pair of horses, someone riding an ass, someone riding a camel, then let him pay heed, very close heed. Then the watchman cried, On the watchtower, O my Lord, I stand constantly by day, and I stay at my post through all the watches of the night. Here he comes now, a single chariot, a pair of horses, He calls out and says, Fallen, fallen is Babylon, and all the images of her gods are smashed to the ground. O my people who have been threshed, beaten on my threshing floor, what I have heard from the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have announced to you. Oracle on Edom, They call to me from Seir. Watchmen, how much longer the night? Watchmen, how much longer the night? The watchman replies, Morning has come, and again night. If you will ask, ask, come back again. An angel cried out in a voice like thunder, Babylon the great is fallen. Then I heard another voice from heaven. Come out, my people. Come out from her. You must not take part in her sins. High as heaven her iniquities pile up. The Lord has the record in hand. Come out, my people. Come out from her. You must not take part in her sins. From the letters to St. Ignatius, by St. Francis Xavier, priest. We have visited the villages of the new converts who accepted the Christian religion a few years ago. No Portuguese live here. The country is so utterly barren and poor. The native Christians have no priests. They know only that they are Christians. There is nobody to say mass for them, nobody to teach them the creed, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the commandments of God's law. I have not stopped since the day I arrived. I conscientiously made the rounds of the villages. I bathed in the sacred waters all the children who had not yet been baptized. This means that I have purified a very large number of children, so young that, as the saying goes, they could not tell their right hand from their left. The older children would not let me say my office or eat or sleep until I taught them one prayer or another. Then I began to understand. The kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. I could not refuse so devout a request without failing in devotion myself. I taught them first the confession of faith in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, then the Apostles' Creed, 
the Our Father and Hail Mary. I noticed among them persons of great intelligence. If only someone could educate them in the Christian way of life, I have no doubt that they would make excellent Christians. Many, many people hereabouts are not becoming Christians for one reason only. There is nobody to make them Christians. Again and again, I have thought of going round the universities of Europe, especially Paris, and everywhere crying out like a madman, riveting the attention of those with more learning than charity. What a tragedy! How many souls are being shut out of heaven and falling into hell thanks to you? I wish they would work as hard at this as they do at their books, and so settle their account with God for their learning and the talents entrusted to them. This thought would certainly stir most of them to meditate on spiritual realities, to listen actively to what God is saying to them. They would forget their own desires, their human affairs, and give themselves over entirely to God's will and his choice. They would cry out with all their heart, Lord, I am here. What do you want me to do? Send me anywhere you like, even to India. So great a harvest, and so few to gather it in. Pray to the Lord of the harvest. Beg him to send out laborers for his harvest. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. Pray to the Lord of the harvest. Beg him to send out laborers for his harvest. Let us pray. God, our Father, by the preaching of Francis Xavier, you brought many nations to yourself. Give his zeal for the faith to all who believe in you, that your church may rejoice in continued growth throughout the world. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.